course, very loving. He had a very uh, deep sense of love, not just to the family, but I think to everyone. But he was especially, especially respectful to my mother, um, Chiako Oyama, because he always celebrated her birthday. He always made sure that they celebrated their wedding anniversary. He always made sure that he went out to movies with her once a month, which is a lot for, I think, you know, you go to a movie 12 times a year or so. Um, he was very strict with time. He, he always came home at 6.30 from Hombu to home at 6.30 and we had dinner at 7 and that never changed. He always had everything done on time so if I'm like one minute late he would be yelling at me, you know. Um, but he was very, very uh, gentle and nice, very, very kind, very deep hearted. Um, yeah, and I think that reflected also on the way how he treated the Uchideshis and his students and especially people who came from abroad. He was extremely compassionate to people who came from overseas, um, you know, leaving their family back to train Kyokushin. Yeah. Um, he did his calligraphy at 4 p.m., like three times a week. Every, every, I think, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, he did his calligraphy. So after he finishes his training, uh, afternoon training, he would do his calligraphy. Uh, that never changed, because he would always be doing his calligraphy. Um, he used to play flute, flute. Not, not so much when I was growing up, but a lot when my sisters were growing up and before he built Kyokushin Kaikan, like during Oyama Dojo time, uh, he used to play flute and he used to have a little dog called Lulu, if anyone's interested. <laughs> he had a small dog called Lulu. He was a, I think it was a he. No, no, maybe it was, no, it was a he. Um, he had the little dog Lulu when they lived in Itabashi, which is like the next station to Ikebukuro. That's where they had their little house before um, building Hombu. And there is a picture of him and Lulu together in their little backyard. That's where he used to also do his training and people will come and you know, kids around the neighborhood would come and watch him train, and that's how he started the Oyama Dojo. Um, yes. So he had a cat, too. He had a small kitten at the Oyama Dojo, too. Yeah, but I don't know the name. I think it was like Michan or something. <laughs>